Hey, what's up, team? Eddie Gray back at it again. Today, we're talking about bookmarks. Now, this is one of those features that's often overlooked, but if you learn how to use it to improve your workflow, you will be much better for it. So we're going to look at it right now. You're going to find this under the tab that is called Browsers on the far right. Key command is F. There's two tabs here, the Project Audio Bin or the Project Audio Browser, and then the All Files tab. Here is where we can locate the bookmark icon right here. There's other tabs as well that help you navigate your computer, your various drives. And this is where you're going to contain folders that you want to use from time to time. So let's go up here and let's ask Logic, why would we even use bookmarks? All right, well, according to the manual, it says here that you can bookmark folders that you wish to quickly access in the All Files browser. This is useful if you have folders with files you like to drag into various projects. You want to think samples, you want to think loops, you want to think other projects where you have channel strips that you like, et cetera, et cetera, MIDI files. Or if you have files scattered around your drives but consolidated into specific folders, you can access bookmark folders by clicking the bookmark button. So this is a really neat way of having a bunch of files, let's say uh, drums, loops that you really like, all contained in one folder, in one location within your Logic project. So how do you actually even create these? Well, you want to find the specific folder. You want to right-click it and then select bookmark. So let's go ahead and look for something in my drive. So let's say I'm here on the home drive, right, the hard drive, and then I go to that and then maybe let's say i go into uh users then that's me my desktop and uh anyway you float around you try to find the necessary folder i'm just going to go straight to my hard drive which would be right let's see samples desktop drive right in there okay so then from here I'm going to open up my favorites, and let's say I'm always using symbols, which is true. Right here where it says crash, I'm going to control click that, and then I'm going to bookmark. All right, symbols crash. So then when I go to the bookmark tab right there, you can see that they are located in this area if you ever need to locate them. I also have MIDI files here. I don't necessarily play keyboard, and so if I ever need, you know, a G major 7 or a a B minor seven flat five or what have you, I can access those MIDI files here. Okay. All right. So this is how you view them. How do you open them? Well, pretty easy. You just click, double click, and you are right there. If you ever wanted to remove a bookmark, you can just control click and remove. Okay. So a typical workflow, you've got a tune. You want to find something inside of the all files browser. You go to favorites, you find whatever it is you're looking for. And then here you have wide selection of various toppers or hi-hats or whatever you're working with. And then you can audition against the loop or you can just drag it in. So let's try both. Now you'll notice that it's not necessarily lining up, but let's see here. Hopefully if we bring this in, Logic will analyze it. It looks like it just did. And then if I hit Command R a couple times, let's check this out. Okay, cool. Let's try just one more out. Let's bring in. That should work. You can see that Logic analyzed the file in advance, and that is because I have the project settings set import files on. And so when I drag a file in, it starts to analyze it like so. Let's listen to this. All right, team. Hey, thank you for watching. If you're liking the content, go ahead and share it. Really appreciate you guys taking the time. 
go ahead and start to explore bookmarks. It's a great way of staying within your session so you can stay in the flow, so you can stay in the zone, making the music that you know that you should be making all the time. So stay focused on what it is you got to do. Go ahead and learn bookmarks, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.